Hello and welcome to a new video. I did have some tutorials planned and I'm going to put them on in the coming weeks but I thought I would do something a little bit different and a bit more fun today and that is playing around with Arduino connected to Unreal Engine. I'm using the excellent UE4 Duino plugin and I decided to connect it to one of these 400 kilovolt voltage step up motors to see if it was possible to give myself an electric shock during gameplay. So over to Unreal, I've built this level and put a few different things in and obviously there is better uses for Arduino than this. I've got a system here whereby when I shoot at this box I can change a, a counter that's connected to the Arduino and a little display and I had something else here to celebrate MF Doom uh, and his life and this would uh, con connect to a servo that would move whenever I shot at that and I had a few other things set up here but the main thing I wanted to do here was to make an electric shock if I walked into an area or I shot at something or maybe even if I got shot at and see what would happen. So what I have is a Arduino, a very old Arduino 2560 connected to my PC with a USB cable and I have a shield on top. Neither of these were working, but I just did a bit of soldering on the pins and got them back to life. And that connects to a relay, which is basically an on and off switch, which is then connected to a 3.7 volt battery and the stepper upper unit, which I think is actually a 700 kilovolt unit. I'm not 100% sure. I'll press play and you'll see what happens here. So as you can see, you get an electric shock. This could be connected up to uh, something else. I'm not going to give you any ideas on this one. It could be in a multiplayer environment or if you go to a certain area of the map, this could trigger the shock and give you a uh, nasty electrical shock. Of course, the relay can be connected to anything else. You could connect it to something innocent like a lamp or um, something else that takes, and anything that takes a plug. And of course, you've got to make sure that your relay is correctly rated for the amps. I'm not an expert on electronics, nor am I an expert on coding whenever I show you my code next. But you can have a lot of fun with these things, and it's great to be able to link it to real-world gameplay. So let's have a look and see how this is being controlled. Basically, I've put in a blueprint for the Arduino here. And I'm going to cover this in more detail in the future if there's any demand for this. But it's a basic uh, UE4 Duino script here where you have to put in the port and the baud rate of your device. And basically, if that's okay, we can put some custom functions here that will then print strings to the Arduino interface or the Arduino IDE. So let's have a look at the... Arduino code as well simultaneously and I will show you I wrote this one myself I've, well I, I use the term wrote it myself quite vaguely I just cannibalized other people's code here and there's standard things here like defining your sensors and importing libraries at the start and pins and so forth and then the code is actually quite basic it's just in a loop where if the serial is available and certain strings are sent to the Arduino from Unreal, it will perform various functions, in this case moving the servo. And I'll show you the full project in a later tutorial once I've bothered to set it all up. But the main one we're concerned about here is the relay. If it gets the text shock me, it will basically turn on the relay, wait for a while and then turn it off again. And if we go over to here, the function shock me is here. Again, this code is not great, but it works for what I needed to. That prints shock me there. And this should be linked either to this, which it is. If this is hit, we call the function shock me from the Arduino blueprint. And similarly, if this trigger box here is occupied, it will also call the function shock me. Let's have a look at that. There we go. So basically, if we overlap the box associated with this, we will play this effects and we will also call the shock me function. So the actual wiring of this is relatively basic as well. It's, it's going to the pin from the Arduino. I've used the Grove system, which basically means uh, you don't have to fiddle around with... Um, 
lots of cables. You've just got one plug-in cable that goes in at both ends and snaps in, and that's connected to the relay. And the relay is wired into the negative of the 3.7 volt battery. And that is in turn connected to the voltage step upper device. So yeah, that's basically it for this. I will do a full tutorial on the UE4 Duino if there's enough interest. In the past, I put MIDI ones up and stuff like that. There wasn't a great deal of interest and it takes quite a long time to make these tutorials, but this one can be quite a lot of fun. So um, if it's something you're interested in, comment below, subscribe, and do feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you for watching.